Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the harbor. Welcome to the studio. Another productive day, hopefully. I'm still in, in full album production mode. Hello and good morning. Everyone's really busy today. Anything special today? Uh, 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 no, no. That's really perfect. So I got time to talk about the next giveaway. This monitor controller, if you want to have a chance to win it, just go to my Instagram first link in the description to win one of these. And also still the Shure headphones giveaway. Both of them I will announce in exactly one week. And the rest of the day is just working on music as much as I can. As you know, I'm working on the album and I got like six, seven tracks. I still need to completely finish. And since I can't really share with you my working process on the album, because I still want this to be a surprise for you once it's finalized and all done. And I don't want to get other people's opinion at the moment. I just want to do and focus on what I love. But since I've been handling a lot of contracts yesterday and today that all had to do with like um, vocalists, singers, songwriters, people that are part of this album that contribute um, guitar parts and this kind of stuff. Let's talk about contracts. Yes, I know this might not seem really interesting, but trust me, this can <laughs> save you a ton of money in, in the long run. I'm always dreaming of you, you and me. But it's sinking slowly, drowning to your breath. So let's talk about the most important contract as a producer, and that is actually the contract that you have with your talent. Let's say you produce a singer or songwriter. They do the lyrics, they do the vocal melody, you record them, you produce the song. You're like the classic producer making a song for someone else. In that case, you will need a special contract, like a producer agreement that kind of states what kind of percentage you get for your work for finalizing, for recording, and all these kind of things that are involved. These contracts are rare at the moment. That's how it used to be. It's like the classic contract between the artist and the producer. In a typical contract, you of course state the two parties, their names, the address and everything, and then who gets what kind of share. So in this case, both of them work on a song, both contribute certain parts to it. Sometimes the producer gets 50% and the artist as well. Sometimes the producer gets 80% and the artist just 20. This is totally up to the level and kind of quality these people deliver. For example, if you are a rapper just starting out and you want to be produced by Dr. Dre, he will either just charge flat out and that's like the simplest contract, just writing an invoice, paying it. And if it's like a not known rapper with Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre would probably take like 95% of whatever those songs make and the art is just five. If it's like equal, it might be 50-50 or usually a little more towards the producer because he has usually more work and spends more time finishing the song. And that's the split for the master. So whatever the song, CDs, the vinyl, the streams are actually making, then there's of course the copyright. Also, this is totally up to whatever you want to negotiate. Usually the songwriter gets more because they come up with the melody and the lyrics. The producer might just add chords or maybe have someone else play a guitar to it. But um, to make this easy, just a simple equal split. If there are three, four, five people involved, you just split it. That's usually the, the way to go. Then you got the release of artist rights. That's also a very important contract. You should have these available anytime. You need them whenever you collaborate with someone else and you just want to pay them a flat fee for whatever they did. So let's say you need a trumpet and you get someone in that plays the trumpet, then the release of artist rights contract states that whatever they did, their performance, whatever you recorded that they did is 100% yours for a certain amount of money. So let's say for my new album, there's one song where I need a trumpet, so I will just get someone to play it pay him maybe 100 euros and let him sign the contract so it is mine and I can do with it whatever I want. It's my melody, so I don't need to do a copyright split with him, but if he comes up with the melody, you need to involve them in the copyright. There is no way to buy the copyright of someone else, at least in Germany. 
the copyright is not, you can't sell it. So you need to make sure that they get a cut if they're involved in writing, composing, or doing the lyrics. By the way, if you're interested in these kind of contracts, just Google for release of artist rights and you will find like, it's just one sheet where the person is stating that he gives all of the rights to you for amount X. You could also do a percentage deal, but for someone just playing an instrument, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because every half year, every quarter, you have to do a statement and send them money. That's way too much trouble. Just pay them once and that's it. Then you also got the feature artist contract. It's very similar to the release of artist rights. It's basically the same, but it's more for whenever you're collaborating with a singer. They sing whatever you want them to sing, and they get, again, amount X for doing that. If they come up with the melody, if they come up with the lyrics, you again have to give them a split of the copyright. By the way, for the copyright, um, just Google for copyright split sheet. It's very simple, also just one page. You put in your name, you put in your number, like the GEMA number, which is like the royalty collecting company in Germany. But there are also some, I think it's Burma or Burma in the Netherlands, and then you got in the US. I forgot what it was, but also like three letters, APC, CB, I don't know. Then of course you got the label contracts. That's actually not your task, but if you make a song and you sell it to a label, Basically, you give them all of the rights to that song for a period of time. It needs to be a period. It can't be infinite. Usually it's 10, 15, 20 years. After those 10, 15, 20 years, the rights go back to you 100%. Within that time frame, the song belongs to them. They can do with it whatever they want, but in return, they have to give you a percentage. And a good contract also states what they will do. So for example, promote it, invest money into it, use all of their channels, pitch it to Spotify. You can actually make them include these kind of things in the contract just to make sure they not sign you and then not, never release the song. Maybe also have like one sentence in there if they don't release it within a year, the rights go back to you and um, the, the contract is canceled. For example, my All About song was with another label for two years and I had to fight to get my right back which was a lot of back and forth. And then I finally got to release it myself. And now it, I think it passed now 2 million plays on Spotify, which is really great. So thanks a lot. Also for the label contracts, if it's an independent label, make sure you get 50%. That's I think the fair way to deal with it. If it's a bigger label, you might get less. Some major labels just give you 10, 20, percent, maybe 30. It really depends again on your size of an artist, the size of the label, how much promotional power they have. If you're a newcomer or already established, all of these kind of things factor in. It's all really up to where you are in the music business kind of world and how good you negotiate. If a contract doesn't seem to be fair, don't sign it. If you have a bad feeling, don't sign it. Don't sign things that are long term without getting a lawyer. Actually, always get a lawyer if you can. Signing away one song with a label where it doesn't work out isn't that bad. You just lose that one song. But if it's, for example, a management contract for the next five years and it involves everything you make as an artist, get a lawyer. 100% get a lawyer and make sure that the contract is an individual one for you, geared towards you. I think even by law, at least in Germany, again, a management contract has to be individual. You can't just take a stock management contract and let someone sign it. It's immediately void. That doesn't even count. And then if you want to collaborate with someone, it's also really wise to have a contract. Usually it's a 50-50 split because you collaborate. One person is making half of the song or spends half of the time making it, the other person the other half. And um, yeah, a quick, simple contract is enough. You don't need, at least again in Germany, but I think this applies to most countries, you don't need a specific contract. Having an email that states, I get amount X for doing this and that, and you get that, is basically usually enough. A contract is, is like a nice addition, makes it easier just in case something happens. And a contract is usually way more detailed. If you search for release of artist rights, you get this one page and it, it states, where you're allowed to release it, what kind of rights you get. It's kind of all in there, very specific. So I hope this clarifies a couple of the questions you guys had about contracts, which types of contracts you actually need. Um, again, just 
Google for it. I unfortunately can't give you my contracts because I paid a lawyer to do them and it was quite expensive and they were individual and I can't give away like the, the, the percentages that my artist gets, that, that my guitar player gets, that my vocalist gets. And again, this is again, various um, like on negotiating with them. But in most cases, my label stuff is 50-50 and whenever I work together with a singer and songwriter, it's 50-50. I think that's just like fair, half-half. So at the end, no one really complains. Copyright, same thing. So yeah, treat, treat the other people fair. Otherwise they won't work with you again. The music business, the industry is very small. If, if you mistreat the people, everyone will talk about it and it will be hard for you to do business. You rely on other people. The music industry is a people's business. If you know the right people and um, treat them fair, you will definitely advance way easier than like just being a jackass. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about any kind of contract, leave it in the comments. I will try to answer it. You do not need to copyright protect your music. That's something a lot of people ask me. It's protected in the second where you create it. It's, it's yours, you made it. It's easy to prove. Um, don't, don't worry about these kind of things. Just make sure whenever you do any kind of business stuff to have it at least in writing. Even if it's just an email, this will make sure that the other party won't start twisting things. A phone call is really not reliable. Get it in writing. If it's a contract, even better. If it's an email, it's also usually fine. And again, for everything long-term, everything that involves a lot of money, get a lawyer. It's worth it, 100%. I learned this lesson. A lot of my music producer friends, colleagues, they also learned this lesson. Maybe you also have to learn it before, before you trust um, what I'm saying. But yeah, just, just get the lawyer. Don't forget the giveaways. Also, Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, see you tomorrow again here in the studio.